Okay, so your sixes, okay, you've got your certificate for being in the Mini Police. And it says, in recognition of your hard work, commitment and dedication as a Cumbria Mini Police Officer. Your commitment and dedication to being a Mini Police Officer is both a credit to yourself and an inspiration to other officers. So thank you for your contribution to making Cumbria safer. Okay, so that's yours, Emily. And Mercy. And Jay. Thank you. Oops, sorry. George. Thank you. Anthony. Thank you. Tom. Brooke. And Jamie. Okay. And then this is just a little present off me. I'm still wrapped up. Uh, give these out. Don't open them till the last person's got them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girls and boys. So I'm just going to say a little bit because I um, I would like to. So I have had the pleasure in knowing you right from when you were tiny in nursery to the present day, and it, that's a really special thing to be able to say that you've known them from that big, right? The way you're very special to us, apart from George, who's joined us later on. So I have watched you grow and develop from the tiny tots that you were into the fine young people that you are today, and I'm very proud of you all. So I've chosen three words to describe each of you and a memory about you that will stay with me. So Anthony, your three words are organised, efficient and hardworking. Yeah? And the memory that will stick with me is you selling photographs at the Bar Humbug and organising all the house points. You're very organised, you, you work well with the grown-ups and you were quite thoughtful. You were very good. Brooke, your three words are energetic, caring and motivated, really motivated with the home room and everyone's very impressed with you. But the, me the memory that will stay with me is the creativity that you've shown as a buddy. You were a really good buddy and when it was anything creative, you rolled your sleeves up and you got, you got, <laughs> you're looking at me, this is idle, and you got yourself stuck in, so well done. Emily, three words, energetic, caring and motivated. Again, similar to Brooke, Brooke, you worked really hard during lockdown. You were a very, very motivated worship counsellor. And when I asked for volunteers to say our prayer, you were straight up there. Really good. Always, always helpful. George, smiley, clever and kind. And my memory that I will, will remember when I think of you is you with your buddies as well, reading to them. Whenever there was a story, you were obviously good. The, your little buddies were always leaning over you and ready to listen to your story. So that's what I'll remember when I think of you. Jake, reliable, caring and motivated. So obviously your role as a worship time monitor and your role on the worship council have really appreciated especially when things were going wrong, I would go, Jake, can you sort this out? And you would sort that out with no bother. So well done. And also you, have, you were an excellent buddy to study, really caring there, really appreciated what he needed and made sure that he got it, so well done. Jamie, three words, energetic, humorous and, and kind. And the thing that will stick with me is you volunteering with Jake to do the debating competition at Quags because we never expected you to volunteer and you did and you came away with the prize as well. So that will stick with us. That was a, it took you a little bit out of your comfort zone, but you did, you achieved really well. So well done. Maisie, kind, friendly and enthusiastic. 
enthusiastic, they're your three words. And um, I've got two memories. One, when you were tiny, that will stick with me forever, is Maisie, I don't know if you can remember, used to do the register and she couldn't read, but she remembered all of the names in the register from start to finish. <laughs> and then another memory is of you not that long ago when you opened up your hoodie, your Levers hoodie, and you were delighted. <laughs> I love that. I love to see you so excited about wearing your hoodie. Last but not least is Tom. Tom, similar to Brooke and Emily, hardworking, kind, and calm. Especially during lockdown, you've worked really hard and you've come on leaps and bounds. You've done really, really well. The memory that will stay with me is when you showed absolute determination to ride your bike and the staff in the school were all behind you and were delighted when you made that achievement, so well done. So I'd like to finish by sharing my favourite poem with you. Um, I've got a copy for you all to take away and consider. It might not be something that you, you think about now, but it is... Um, the words in there are really important. And I actually had this at my wedding as well, so this is my favourite poem. So Brooke, here's yours. George. There you go. And okay. Jamie. And Jake. And Tom. And Emily. And Anthony. Where's Anthony? And Maisie. Thank you. And can we just see if we can read it together? So it's important at this time in your life, but also maybe at different times in your life as well. So it's called Let No One Steal Your Dreams. So should we read it? Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tear apart that burning of ambition that fires the drive inside your heart. Let no one steal your dreams. Let no one tell you that you can't. Let no one hold you back. Let no one hold you that you won't. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one steal your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. Let no one steal your dreams. Follow your heart, follow your soul. For only when you follow them will you feel truly whole. Set your sights and keep them fixed. Set your sights on high, let no one steal your dreams, your only limit is the sky. And I think that is a, it, it lends itself really well to our vision. Can you read this bit in the middle there where it says, don't just fly, soar. And that's what I want you to do when you get to UCC. I want you to continue on your journey. Your only limit is the sky. All right. Okay. And Mrs. Idle has some more bits and bobs in here for you. Do you want to give those out, Mrs. Idle? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay, so should we close up? Mm. So these are something from your buddies. Mm. All right. Um, everybody's out together except Maisie has got two envelopes because we had a late incomer. Okay, so we've got George, we've got Macy, we've got Jay, thank you, we've got Emily, we've got Anthony, thank you, good lads, Jamie, thank you, we've got Tom, we've got Brooke. It was nice to hear that you enjoyed working with your buddies as much as they've enjoyed working with you. It is actually my favourite time of the week when you came to, to do buddies and they love you. They really do and I hope you can see by the effort they've put into your cards how much they've appreciated everything that you've done for them. So keep in touch with them. You were very special to them so keep in touch. And last little thing... Okay, we have our piece of wood. Okay, and it says Fly High, Church of England School 2020. Okay.
Thank you. You've each got one of those as well. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. I don't know if you want to open your cards as well. Do you have to have a look at your cards? 